Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Trucking Tower podcast. I'm really excited to be joined today by Kenneth Carter III, also known as KC3 from the Freight Waves appearances he's had. And he's the owner of a Maritime Freight and Logistics and is also a military veteran who served in the Army. How are you doing today, Kenneth? I'm doing good, Andy. How are you? Doing well, thanks. I really appreciate you coming on with me today. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm very excited to be on. Well, you know, first of all, I want to thank you for your military service. And I love your positive attitude. And I'm going to quote the vision of your company from your website. And it says, to bring a professional and optimistic atmosphere to the industry always. I love that. So can you tell us about that vision and what you're doing that's kind of setting you apart from other companies? Yeah, definitely. Well, to start with the vision, we always think positivity. I mean, if we wasn't positive, we'd be some miserable people, right? Right. Yeah. So we want to just, we want to have emotional intelligence whenever we're doing business. So it's not really about the business, it's about the person. So what stands us, what makes us different than everyone else is understanding, it's the intangibles, you know, understanding how they feel, what they're going through and always being there for them, you know, incessant communication, giving them the knowledge, even if we're not doing business with them to help them out, say, you know, hey, hey you know, it'd be better go this route or this route, even if it, we lose business in it, but we're there to help the person out. So that's what makes us different. Right. Yeah. Bringing that value, whether they become a customer or they could even just be a reference partner at some point, you never know where right. these things will go. Right. Exactly. And so I know that you initially drove a truck actually in the army and then you were a company driver for years before starting your own freight brokerage company. So Sorry what led that. you to uh, wanting to run your own company? Well, it's a crazy story. Uh, I can make it short, but uh, I made some bad decisions in life. Man, I ended up going to prison for two and a half years. And while being in there, I noticed the uh, lost hope. You know, people, they got there and they lost their positivity. They lost their optimism. And that's why I'm so big on it now. And I realized, you know, I can do something about that. And because I made that bad decision once in my life doesn't mean I have to go that route. So I wanted to change up. And I knew that one way I can change that is by creating my own company and helping other people see that, you know, they have that self-worth and that positivity can come back to them. So I figured, you know what, just go for it and start my own up. And uh, I won't, you know, I won't hold people accountable for their past like so many people do. And right. I, I, and I don't want to check that felony box. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like, you know, that's not who I am and I don't want to be defined by that. Sure, absolutely. You know, nobody's perfect. Um, everybody's made mistakes here and there. I know I have. And uh, it's awesome that you're taking that and turning it into a positive direction. I love that. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. So what else are you working on these days? Well, I'm actually a nutrition coach and a personal trainer. So I love the trucking industry and supply chain. So I have a new company I'm starting out called Supply Chain Fit. And basically what it does is a platform to help drivers become healthier and have better options with their nutrition. You know, they're always on the road and you never have a good place to eat. So I want to help them see the better alternatives. You know, you could eat this instead of that, that still fill you up. And I want to bring on other, you know, doctors and nutritionists, physicians, things, people who can help out our truckers and myself, because I feel like that'll help, that'll help the industry better. And we are, you know, the legs of the supply chain. Absolutely. You know, everything we have in our house is brought from a truck, right? Exactly. Food, <laughs> wallpaper, paint, you name, light bulbs. So uh, it all came from a truck in the end. Right. So, so important that that industry does stay healthy. And I think that's a great cause that you're, that you're behind there. That's really cool. So, you. Um, you know, I wanted to ask you, I'm currently conducting a poll on my truckingtower.com website. And I'd be interested in your uh, perspective on this one. Let me uh, do my screen share here real quick. So what will have the biggest impact on trucking three years from now, in your opinion? Nuclear verdicts, emission standards, trucking capacity, driver shortages, fuel prices, autonomous driving, or electric engines? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I feel like uh, emission standards but I say that with a positive impact 
And I say that because with everything that they're working on for the emissions, it's gonna be better fuel economy. It's gonna be better for the environment. It's gonna help towards climate change. And, you know, I was just researching and there are certain phases that are rolling out that's gonna, you know, give us better tires to lower the resistance of rolling. It's gonna give us better fuel efficiency and save up to 5% in the fuel. So I really feel like fuel is one of our biggest expenses in trucking. So if we can get that lower and also have that, the environment, I think that's gonna be the, the biggest impact positively. Yeah, you know, that whole green movement, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It just seems to be gaining more and more strength. And I saw during the pandemic, Harvard did a study of that, the areas that had the highest population and highest emissions had a higher occurrences of uh, hospitalizations and death rates actually from emissions. So I don't think it's going anywhere. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on board with the way that you're thinking. So um, appreciate your, uh, your feedback on that. So yeah, now you're doing the, the health and nutrition thing, helping uh, drivers get more healthy. Um, uh, what else are you up to? I know you have your freight brokerage. How's, yeah, the freight the, how's brokerage, that going? It's going good. Well, we're pretty new into this industry as far as the brokerage side. Like you said, I've been driving since uh, 2001, been regional managers, things like that. But uh, I think with the brokerage side, I have more say so and I can help out drivers more. So I'm definitely pro driver when it comes to being in the brokerage, being a driver myself. Yeah, so that background should help a lot. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I can understand and empathize with those drivers and what they're going through. Right. You know, right. I'm not just sitting in, in, a, in a seat in the office saying, hey, let me make some money off of you. you know, right. So, you can understand where they're coming from. Right. Right. So, yeah. the, you know, with that and nutrition, you putting those two together, I have a direct connection with those drivers already, you know, with the services that I offer in the brokerage. So it's easy to give some free information like, hey, you know, you're sitting at this detention spot for two hours. This is something you can do for two hours that can help you out and, you know, improve your fatigue, um, help out with your lower back pains, things of that nature. And we Very know, cool. Yeah. And truckers have we bad health, you know, all the way from arthritis to diabetes because of the lifestyle and mental health also. That's really a big one. So all this fitness and nutrition can help towards that. Absolutely. You know, uh, our health has such a huge impact on everything. So I love what you're doing there. That's really cool. Thank and you. Uh, what's the best way for people to connect with you? Is it your website, email, phone? What would you like for me to include? Well, my website is AmeritonFreights.com. Also LinkedIn, it's uh, Kenneth Carter, the Roman numeral three. And uh, my Facebook, my Twitter, Instagram is all Ameriton Freights. Very good. Well, in the video, I'll have all of that information shown. You guys be sure and reach out to Kenneth. And uh, Kenneth, I want to really uh, thank you for coming on with me today. I really appreciate what you're doing. And thank you for coming on with me. And thank you, Andy, so much for the support. And I appreciate it. You bet, sir. Thank you again for your military service and uh, what you're doing out there. So we'll see you guys on the next uh, Trucking Tower podcast. See you soon. Sure. See you.